Good morning, everybody. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to install USB 2.0 cards in Macs and which ones are compatible. Well, I'm going to debunk some of the myths for you right now. All right, I just got this Mac off of eBay about two weeks ago. This is it right here. It's a Mac G4 Quicksilver 733 megahertz. Uh, I upgrade, it's got one gig of memory, uh, 120 gig hard drive, and it's running OS 10.4 Tiger. Now, it's been a lot said about which cards will actually work. Well, the cards I've chosen are these. These are the Adaptec USB 2 Connects. I have two of them. Alright, now that I have my Mac out, I'm going to show you guys how to install these cards. First thing you want to do is open up your Mac. Now these are one of the easiest cases to open. All you do is pull, little force, and push down. Now, as you can see in a Mac, everything's fairly accessible. Got your processor with your heatsink right here. Uh, got your RAM bays right here. I got three RAM sticks, uh, two 512s and I'm sorry, two 256s and one 512. This is your AGP video card. Right now I'm running a GeForce 2 32 meg video card. And there are my free slots. Now it's fairly easy to put in a PCI USB 2.0 card. Alright, and here is the USB 2.0 card. As I said, it's got two ports. I'm going to be installing two of these in the case. Now, first thing you want to do is figure out which two slots you want to use. In this case, because I have the video card in there and I'm thinking about upgrading to a bigger video card, I'm going to use the furthest two slots away. That way, if I get a card with a big fan, I have some cushioning there. All right, first thing you want to do, remove this screw. Then you want to remove the plate that covers the casing. Once the screw is loosened, you can go ahead and remove it manually by hand. Right. Now, when you're putting a card in, you want to make sure to line up the holes. Once you have everything lined up, you just push down firmly and evenly, and it goes right in. Now, all you have to do is replace the screw. Alright, now you can see I have the two cards installed in there. Now that leaves me some breathing room. Later on I may be installing one more uh, Firewire 800 port. That will leave me another spot so when I install my video card, I can go and have a really big fan on there. And this is what it looks like from the back. Now let's go hook everything up. Alright everybody, I installed the two USB 2.0 cards. So let's see how it works. Apple sound, that's always a good sign. Now, what I've also done is hooked up my new Seagate 320 gigabyte external hard drive. This is going to be used as a iTunes server for my iPod. And I also have a four port hub, which at the moment is not getting any power. Don't know why, but check that out in a few minutes. And just hoping everything's going to boot properly. And I'm still waiting. Alright, now that we've booted up, let's see if our hardware is functioning.
Alright, and as you can see, it's finding both of my hubs. It has my free agent Seagate, and it looks like it may have also found my other hub. So we are all set. Now, incidentally, I've also got a lot of questions about how to install a super drive into these G4s, so I'll be posting up a video on that shortly. Until then, have a good day.